Hello, 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 people. Happy Sunday. And we've got a slightly different one today. Ben's just going to get, I can hear Ben whinging. Can you, that's my dog, Ben, whinging. Uh, we have a slightly different one today. For those of you that haven't been following along, I have shown some impressive self control. This came in the mail for me, I believe, on Tuesday. It is a parcel and I haven't opened it yet. I'll tell you about this in a second. I just want to do the hellos and everything. But yeah, so that's that's what's happened so far. Um, yeah, that's what's going to be happening today. Like I say, something a little bit different. Um, but yeah, let's see who we've got with us. Check all of, got all my buttons going right. So we have George S. Good morning. And DPS Dead People's Stuff. Sorry, I love this now. I'm going to say the whole name. DPS, Dead People Stuff, Vintage, if, if, how do you say that? If, if, uh, I give up. Jewelry Findings and Curiosities. Ephirima, Ephirima. Yeah, whatever. I'm rubbish. <laughs> um, Serenity, Peace and Art. Awesome naming. I'm loving this. Uh, George is going to start a channel. Awesome. Cool. Totally should do. And... Uh, DPS, good morning. Right, oh, before I got started, right, I know a few of you guys have a channel and you're looking to start a channel. So I just got alerted to something just as I was going live just now from YouTube. So there's something else. Now, I'm not sure. Well, I think you can't get super chats on live streams until you have a thousand, until your channel's monetized, until you have a thousand subscribers. So I don't know if this is for everybody once you've been monetized, but I just got a note as I was going live that there's something new that's happened. And it's it's kind of fun. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you all to do something. It won't cost you money, right? <laughs> it you don't you don't pay until you decide to pay so that's all cool but it it's it youtube live streams has started including stickers um so <laughs> this is just fun i just want to show you this so if you haven't already on a live stream you can super chat which is like give people a tip or something which i'm not asking you to do um but they've added so that rather than just you type in your word it kind of bolds up your comment and pops it to the top so people can see that but rather than do that they're now giving us animated stickers so if you want to have a wee look at the stickers if you're on a desktop or if you're on anywhere that you can super chat, that's where you have to look. So below the chat just now, there should be like a little box with a dollar sign. Now, clicking on it will not take money off you. So don't don't worry about that. I worried myself. But if you click on that, um, it says super chat and it now says super sticker. So again, if you click on it, it's not going to cost you any money yet, just so you can go and have a look. It's just good fun. So if you now, if you click on the little dollar sign and then super sticker, I'm just doing that as well while I'm here. And then that brings up a whole load of stickers and there's, there's like a price, but that just means that for a length of time, depending on how much you pay, the sticker shows up in the chat. So it's a bit of daftness, but I just thought you might have fun to actually go through and look at all the stickers that you can get it's it's a fun thing i'm not saying anyone do that i'm just saying go and have a look you don't get charged unless you actually decided to you have to go in and put in details and everything so you don't worry about that but you can go and have a look um oh dps had had trouble with ephemera ephemera i did it that i knew i knew the word I, in my defence, I think we're due thunder or something. It's such a heavy day and my, my head is hurting. So anyway, um, Serenity, that's cool. Oh, DPS, it's not working for you. This, oh, this, I look right, 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 right. I think I can, I'm going to try this. I'm going to do a screen share. Um, right, so if you guys just look, here's the chat. So if you click on the dollar sign and you see nothing happens here. Yeah, sorry, I'm popping the screens crazy. But anyway, you click on super sticker and then you get all these different little animated stickers like a crocodile opening shit in his mouth, a 
I don't. Well, game over. I th yeah, um, this came from gamers, I believe. Unfortunately, I had a wee look to see if I could create my own stickers, which I think would be a whole bunch more fun. But anyway, there's all these stickers, and yeah, you can just have a look in at them for anyone that's that's that they're working for. Right back, back to my face. How do I switch this off now? How have I? There we go. Stop sharing. Right, should be back to me. Just. Literally, this just happened as I was setting up my live, and I thought I would share that with you. <laughs> um, just a, a funny bit of daftness. But for everyone who's got a YouTube channel, I didn't have to. Um, I didn't have to set it up or anything. It just started today, so kind of cool. Um, yeah, DPS blames 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 her husband for the the ephemera word I, i'm i'm going to use that all the time now that i've got it working um little bird blind hello there uh, george that's cool yeah it, 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 it tickled me anyway uh dps can see it uh <laughs> george something technical you can do uh paper cream wishes hello there good to see you um people saying hello to each other awesome i love it when you guys chat um hello hello everybody right so yeah so as i said i have i have a wee unboxing to do now the not warnings um what, what, what do i call this i don't know well just to let you guys know um i'm not sponsored for making this video but the girls at the makers just decided to send me this this little little kit so i'm not being paid these are going to be all my own impressions but i just thought that was super lovely of them especially my felting mojo has been a bit down in the dumps because i have had so many creatures to make i've had no space for flights of fancy i've had so many orders which is an awesome thing but at the same time i've not been feeling very creative and i wanted to go on a little flight of fancy I've nearly caught up. I have about four orders. I think in the next two weeks I might be caught up and I can I can do felting for me. Um, but um, the makers offered to send me this box. Now what they do, um, we've seen I did the box felting kit. Um, we did that live a few months ago and also way, way back, I also got their 2D felting box which I totally loved. Um, for, I don't know, it's maybe about a year now they've been doing these subscription boxes where you can sign up and pay. There should be a link in the description of this video, but you can sign up and pay a reasonable, I can't remember how much it is, I think it's about £15, um, and you get a monthly box of pro needle felting project which is is pretty cool especially if you're needing some inspiration or you're wanting to learn it's a good way to try out loads of different things and they come up with what looks like great fun ideas and I was thinking of, I was yeah I'll check well we'll check with you guys after when we finish these but I was thinking about maybe doing this like getting the monthly kits and maybe doing this once once a month as something a little bit fun and different. But this is this one. I haven't. Look, 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 look. I've not opened it. It has been sitting since Tuesday. I'm impressed with me. Um, I believe this is Kingfishers and Daisies. Uh, like I say, it's got a different theme every week. Um, so we're going to have a look at this. Um, let's get into the chat. Oh, little birds. Um, small child demanding attention. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for dropping dropping by anyway. Um, George, may you post a couple of questions? Yep, yeah, um, you can post questions in the comments after the stream or you can ask just now. I can probably, I, I, I can possibly multitask. Um, <laughs> right, so let's, let's, let's do this thing. I'm nervous, excited, nervous. Um, yeah, so here's here's their box, and I'm just going to dive into it. It's lovely, wrapped up nice. I like the red paper, and they've got their little. Is that going to show up? It's kind of working. Little the maker sticker, so you know know it's from them. Um, I'm going to need to so, oh, no, bust it. Right, so the box. 
So they have their awesome boxes, nice sturdy box, and what does it say? The maker's box, everyone, everyone a maker. I love their little branding there, everyone a maker. And then the sticker on the bottom, it's a trial box, contains felting needles and a foam mat. Awesome, that sounds good so far. A kingfisher picture and daisies, right? So I'm not not sure what we're getting in here i haven't even looked into everything that's here i haven't got a clue but it sounds exciting um <laughs> uh, g morgan it's it's morning morning where you are yeah it's four o'clock in the afternoon here in scotland we're a bit we're a bit ahead of most people um right so okay let you guys look at the same time as me i am excited nervous <laughs> Rosani, hello there. Okay, we're just. Someone give me a drum roll. <laughs> so, opening the box. What have we got? Oh, we've got some orange paper. <laughs> oh, no, it's... oh, yeah, it is paper. I thought it was like a bag, but it was all packed nicely. And, all right. Um, so, we have some. In... This, this, looks... this looks weighty instructions. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. We have we have a bag of colours. We've got white, and then there's a blues and a greeny blue, a sort of orangey brown. It's kind of easier to see on the camera. Yellow, pink, green. That's a kind of brown or black colour so far. So a nice big bag of fibre. Um, our pack of felting needles, um, warning very sharp. I've got two coarse needles, two medium needles, and two fine needles. So we'll try. I I am terrible. Like I, I don't felt properly. I only use the same needle for everything. So three different thicknesses of needles. So that's six felting needles. That's pretty cool. I just ordered some felting needles the other day, so I didn't need to. Um, Got another little foam pad. Uh, feels feels good. We we know how much I use foam pads, which isn't much. I might be good and try and do that. Um, there's a strip of felt. This is a really fine felt. I'm I'm intrigued what this can be for. <laughs> cool. Um, <laughs> a free sample of fox rust variegated wool. Interesting. I'll open all these up shortly. Um, a little pack that has the world's tiniest pipe cleaner, but it's one of those firm, proper ones. And we've got three uh, safety pins and two little black eyes. <laughs> Rizani. Ooh, orange paper. It's really nice. This show it's actually more red orange. My camera's picking up colours more yellow, but yeah, tissue paper. <laughs> Do you want me to send that to you, Rosani? Um then we have I'm sure this is some of the dissolvable transfer paper. So you can trace things onto this and then felt felt it onto some other thing. So you could felt it onto this and then when you put it in water this disappears i believe right people who actually do sensible like needlework and stuff i believe this is like interfacing paper i have no idea but anyway it magically goes in water if you haven't already seen i used this when i made the butterfly and the fairy wings out of their kit ages ago so this stuff is awesome and a little bit of green as well. So I think, yeah, I think the projects so far from, I thought it was just a kingfisher and some daisies, but I think we're getting to make a picture of a kingfisher, a 3D kingfisher and some daisies. I might be wrong. We'll see. Right, just going to put the box down at the side and then open up all the walls. Right, and then we'll look at the the thing in me the instructions and see what we're actually supposed to be doing um right so firstly i wanted to look at this the free sample of fox rust variegated it's cool in a in a nice big box like that to give a wee free sample of something different so yeah that's cool um it again 
my camera's casting looks like it's picking up more yellow color than than this they say this is a fox variegated but it's a nice nice color not as red as their fox color it's more like an, a natural brownie color that's cool it's quite they fit quite a lot in these tiny little bags what else um all of these fibers let's have a nosy that's a fair amount <laughs> oh it smells very very sheepy <laughs> oh there's more here than i thought so i have this is some bats in white uh looks good coarse batty but i just spotted this i don't know what that'll be for but this looks like a silk or bamboo or something it's a lovely silky fiber that is way too bright for the camera but it's beautiful um angel hello from alberta in canada hello there um this looks like a more it still possibly is um a carded bats rather than tops but it's much white and super soft that is lovely core blimey hey there <laughs> okay and these others oh, yeah this is just a bit of black and these all just not just these these all look like um carded bats and i have the bats i've used in the past from um the makers felted up really well so hopefully hopefully this is the same uh but yeah we've got a blue and then a couple of greeny blues again oddly that this is much this is a lovely turquoise color it looks revolting on camera um and again this is an even lighter turquoisey color it's not quite as sky blue as it looks there um we've got a kind of foxy orange color um that's a lighter yellow orange a pink a green and a brown and black and white so that's a good range of colors i won't put them back in the back because i'll never get them out and the needles i'm nervous <laughs> right i didn't stab myself all right so only thing is there's no identification on them um but they are all slightly different lengths so i'm guessing the longest needles will be the most stabby probably so they're the longest too they look pretty stabby in fact you can probably even see that on the camera um i'm not a big fan of proper stabby ones i prefer sort of more medium to fine needles so we'll see We'll see when I come to use them. But yeah, they're all slightly different lengths. So that, whoops, don't drop needles. So yeah, that suggests the difference in the needle. So that's cool. I can figure figure that out. So more stabby, less stabby, less stabby again. Yep, yeah, Rosani, all oh, totally colourful. I'm right, put them in that way so I don't stab myself getting them out again. Right, now the instructions. I am super kind of happy with how much instructions we seem to get here obviously i'm not going to show you everything i'm not going to tell you everything because you've got to if you if you're interested in these you can buy them yourselves but this is the monthly makers box so this will only be around for a little while um, Rosani Core uh, loves the orange and blue. Right, so I'm not going to tell you everything in here, but this is hopefully an idea of this is the May box. So this will only be out for a short while and then it'll be going on to the June box and everything. So I do love I do love the idea of having an inspirational kit that to try something new um once a month. That's kind of cool. Right, so what we're supposed to be getting is what we're supposed to be making is a kingfisher kingfisher picture one kingfisher sculpture and up to four daisy brooches um beginners start with the daisies it says um oh lovely there's little down by the riverside it says um angel where can you check out the kits i should have i should have should have in the description yes if you check in the description of this video there should be a link um and hang on i will just i'll just get the link as well 
Oh, actually, and they're only seventeen pounds, which I think is good value. Um, I can't translate that into dollars, but that seventeen pounds—that's not bad at all. Um, I think you guys let me know what you think. But there's there's the makers boxes if you want to check them out yourselves. Um, yes, what what are they saying? <laughs> George doesn't felt you bleed easily, but you love the colours. Yeah, I, I'm almost getting to the point where I can stab myself without bleeding. <laughs> I've run out of blood. Um, so what's it say? Wouldn't you feel lucky on a stroll along the river, walking amongst daisies and seeing a blue flash of a kingfisher? This month you can make a sculpture or a picture or both of this iconic bird, as well as a bunch of daisy brooches. Um, and then good good marketing, or you could get a pack of our new strong green wire stems to display them. So we've got everything we need to make a thing, but they're saying you could also make other things, which is cool. Marketing, everyone's got to make make extra money. Um, what have we got? The kingfisher picture looks great in the frame. Um, the sculpture can be attached to some wood, or use some of their birds legs and paint them or colour them with florist tape um so this month you can make one large or two small kingfisher pic pictures one kingfisher sculpture and up to four daisy brooches that's pretty cool now guys right i have to do have to ask this would you like me to make something and if you would Wait, I'm, I'm only going to do one of the things. So we can do Kingfisher picture, Kingfisher sculpture, or daisy brooch. So let me know. Put put a vote in the comments, and we'll see what you you come up to come up with. Um, so I also have a code for free postage for the next order, which is cool. Um, so it is a repeat. It is a subscription box, but that's that's cool. Obviously, you can cancel any time. Um, they're telling us they have a, a summer needle felting retreat, which sounds awesome. People go away on a retreat. Um, box contents and what's needed for them. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, that's cool. It's telling us which each of the things I'm going to need. Um, and a thing on how to manage your subscription. Um, what are, what are people saying so far? Um, DPS doesn't felt, but do, do so so you feel the pain either on your fingers or stepping on it. Yep. Um, George's same picture, Rosani's sculpture, Trisha's picture, uh, DPS, Daisy Brooch. Your pug's name is Daisy, so I vote for that. Uh, so far, we're in two for picture. One for a sculpture and one for brooch. You guys, you guys are no help. So I'll give you a while to to think about that. Um, I think. Oh yeah, this is good. So each of the instructions is stapled together. So this is for the kingfisher picture, um, and they give us they tell us what materials we're going to need, and if we need any extras. That's cool. So. Gonna need the wools. I need the green sheet of felt and the water soluble paper, uh, medium and fine needles, and a felting mat, pencil, scissors, and possible pins. Um, and this could be a 20 by 30 centimeter or a 15 by 20 centimeter picture. Um, and it's a skill, it's a beginner. Um, oh, and it's a, yeah, it's a crafty beginner. But if you're completely new, they have tutorials and stuff in the makers, so that's good. Um, oh, handy, handy. Yep, first page is a template. Camera, get it, so I can make either the big one or the little one. That's cool. That's handy. Um, and yeah, so the instructions for the picture looks really good. Look really in depth. Um, full step by step, like every color that needs added, and in what what place, how to put all the details until you put your your picture. Um, what else? Everyone's in sculpture. DPS Kingfisher does look pretty cool. 
uh, Trisha's changed to sculpture. <laughs> so I hope someone's keeping count because I'm not. <laughs> right. Um, and the Kingfisher sculpture. This little guy. Um, again, this is saying it's a crafty beginner. So they're all, all beginner level, which is pretty cool. Um, tells me I might also need PVA glue and scissors and optional bird legs. So he's just going to be sitting without legs, which is cool. Um, and he should be about 15 centimeters. That's for me, that's a biggie. 15 centimeters, about this kind of size for people who don't work in centimeters. Again, we have, it's going through step by step, how to make the body, what colors to add. Looks fairly detailed, so I'm liking that. Nervous, but it, it does seem really good, kind of step by step to get the sculpture or daisies. Uh, this one they call the skill level very easy. I'm going to need the wool, white felt sheet. Yeah, so this <laughs> this wee little thing, the white is a white felt sheet, um, template, brooch pins, needles, um, sharp scissors. Yeah, um, this is these are going to be five centimeters. So nice little little daisies. Um, yeah, needle felted, get yeah, needle felted onto felt sheets. Um, so it's showing again. Here's the kind of details, which looks kind of cool as well. Nice little, I don't know, there's not they're they've got lovely shading, lots of different colors on them, so it's not. Well, I suppose it is daisies when you see it like that, yeah. But I just thought lovely shaded. They're nicer than daisies, um, sort of ornamental daisies. Um, okay, yeah, so that's, that's the three things. That is, I think, that's a pretty impressive project. So let's say every month you get a kit and it looks like it has I don't, I don't know this is my first one myself but this has three projects full instructions i mean that that's pages pages of stuff so yeah apart from a pair of scissors and a pen or something that really has everything you need to make the things okay guys last last chance to vote i'm nervous at what's going to be what's going to be made so let's let's do the what have we what votes have we got? One for a picture, one for a sculpture, one for a picture. Um, Daisy, one for Daisy. Um, sculpture. Oh, I don't think. <laughs> uh, Rosani, whatever gives you the time you need, it's fine by me, but I'd love to see the sculpture sometime. Okay, ah, right, I think, and so, someone else do the adding up as well, but I think we've possibly, yeah, I think we've got more, more votes for sculpture. If everyone's happy with that, I'll give you a couple of minutes and I'll drink some juice to sort out, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy to give the sculpture a go and I'll give the others a go at some point as well, probably. Oh, got hiccups now. Uh, Georgia coin toss. I need a three-sided coin. Um, okay, I think, I think, I think, I think I'll make a executive decision because I'm happy to make absolutely any of them. Um, so we'll go with the sculpture because I think most people said that. Although these all look absolutely cool, I'm nervous now that I make a mess of this. But okay, Kingfisher sculpture. And as I say, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this like me showing you a tutorial. I don't know how to make it. I'm gonna try and follow along with the instructions and see what we get. <laughs> George D and D dice. <laughs> oh, DPS, sure it'll turn out great. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, okay, so we need to start with the the not the not so pretty core wool. 
split off approximately one quarter of the wool and put it to side for the head. Okay, that's <laughs> that's about a quarter of the wool, do we think? Looks good to me. Uh, with the remaining wool, wrap it tightly into an oval shape. Right, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And take my medium felting needle. I should have sorted out the needles first. Take the medium, where's the medium length one? Uh, right, I'm going to cry that one a medium. Uh, Georgia, hi there. Not too late at all. Just really starting with this. Okay, so wrap it again. There's quite a bit of vegetable matter left in this you can't see it um but that's really not a problem when you're felting some of it will stay right in the center and won't matter at all it's all dry it's not going to like rot or get stinky or anything um but a lot of it kind of felts up to the surface and it you can just drop it like pull it off so it's no problem if the fibers aren't totally clean okay um Right, take your medium needle and begin to stab the fibers to hold it together, basically. Oh, this is cool. It's explaining. Yes, I'm reading and reading out loud and felting. The notches on the needle will catch the fiber and pull them inwards. Yes, um, stab all over, leaving the fibers loose at one end as the neck. So we'll do that's going to be the neck. And concentrate stabbing down the other end to make a kind of tail. Well, that's already sort of feeling taily to me, so I'm just gonna stab that over. Actually, I'm not hating on this needle. This is doing the job. Um, oh, DPS, look, this fun watching me be creative. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Um, I'm hoping that I create something decent out of this. I'm quite nervous, but hopefully. Um, so there, I think that's looking sort of more tail-like. All right, and it says, repeat these steps with the wool I put aside for the head to create a smaller version of the same shape. So it's going to be a tube with a pointy end for, for a tail that'll be a beak. Um, but, you know, that's coming together sort of pretty quickly. So the good, good core wool and I'm happy with the needle. So far, so far, not too terrible. I want to keep looking at the original picture to make sure that I'm doing everything right. But the shape's, shape's okay. I want to make sure he's kind of chunky with the tail at the back. And yeah, if anyone wants to felt along, kind of, but as I'm, I'm not giving totally step by step. I probably am because <laughs> I'm reading it out as I'm doing it. Um, but yeah, some coral wool and some kingfisher colours, which are really oranges and blues mainly. All right. Um. So we do the same with the the head piece. Um. So rolling it into a tube leaving one end a bit loose and coming off to a point for the other end, which is going to be his face. Oh, fidgeting. Um, G Morgan, how do you not stab your fingers or hand? Uh, practice. If you're starting, well, look, people say if you're starting out with needle felting, you should start on the pads. Where it, you get a pad and you can use that mm -hmm to stab all around. But my problem with that is if you're stabbing like that, your hands are kind of at this angle. And I find you can, it's easier to hit your hands. But if I'm stabbing like this, my needles go in sort of in between my fingers and I know where my fingertips are in the world easier than I know where sort of the back of my fingers are. So I'm let, I personally am less likely to stab my hand. I know famous last words and if I start swearing and there's blood everywhere just now then then you you know but 
I found this easier. Now you can get like leather finger guards. Um, some people use them to start out, but I just feel that they would kind of get in the way as well. Um, give you a false sense of security even. I'm trying to keep an eye on the shape I'm supposed to be making. Um, but yeah, in general, especially like this, for me, this is a large piece. So my fingers are quite wide apart. So the needle's just going in here and it's nowhere near my hand. And the length of the needle is only that long. So it's not reaching my palm, if that sort of makes sense. So I'm not damaging myself yet, but I know famous last words, but, but practice, because literally as this is, yeah, this is my business. I do I do this for a living. So I find I can sit on my sofa here, watch telly, just chill out and, and felt in an evening. I can do three, four, five hours felting of an evening. That's fine. But if I sit up at a table with a pad there and everything kind of hunched over, then I can do much less. It's It's more sort of difficult on my body, if that makes sense to anyone. Um, so, so yeah, I just find it much easier to do a craft that I don't have to set up for. I can just sit back, relax, watch the television. Um, <laughs> DPS, yep, drinks yourself. I know, totally could. I, I'm, I'm waiting. I, I don't, I'm not going to say that I don't stab myself, but I also, when you do, it's mainly this finger that I stab the most. Um, it just manages to catch things. And I'm just holding the needle rather gently. So if it does touch my finger, then this hand slides rather than really holding with a death, death grip. So if I hit my finger, I stab into my finger. This way, I just more kind of touch my finger. And this is probably more like leather. So. <laughs> so yeah I don't hurt myself too much um so you could if you find out like what finger you you hit most in accident then um certainly a little I think they call them cots a leather cot but a leather finger protector a leather kind of thimbly thing um could be useful on just the one the one finger that gets it the worst that would probably be a good idea <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> Rosani, thank you. For those of you who don't know, I'm good at multitasking while not stabbing myself. <laughs> Keeps you amazed and amused. I know this whole danger felting thing. I'm not I actually have to check. I think my video should have got demonetized or not, but a while back I I tried a needle felting video where I felted completely blindfolded. <laughs> Um, but I think those are considered dangerous challenges now, so that might have got taken down. But that was super fun. Um, I made a little miniature schnauzer head, and it all went fine apart from I'd lost track of where I'd put the different colours. So it was a lovely little salt and pepper miniature schnauzer head with pink eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but it kind of it, it looked like what it was supposed to look like um so yeah so because I'm that used to not paying attention to what's going on in my hand I can feel the shape that I'm making while I'm talking to you guys <laughs> it, it's just practice I've been needle felting for 11 years now so hopefully you get a little bit better at things the more you do it get a little bit more relaxed with it and I, I managed to not not swear when I stab myself. The only time so far, touch wood, but the only time on camera, um, it wasn't live, it was on a video, but I was making a pom-pom. I can't remember which one. I was making one of my pom-pom animals and I was trying to cut the wool off of the pom-pom and the scissors slipped and got my hand and it was literally dripping blood, but I was like, I've got to finish the video. So I was trying to keep my hand hidden away from the camera and not like get blood on my pom-pom. I'm so getting demonetized for saying blood so many times in a video. Um, but yeah, I was trying not to not to drip on my pom pom and finish the video. So that's the only time I've actually injured myself, and I I kept it hidden from everyone. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> DPS, you're impressed. Ah, oh, thank you. Um, it's just.
practice. Uh, Georgia must use the the finger guards every time you stab myself and get in trouble. Yeah, that's if the finger guards work for you, then they're they're a great thing. It's obviously protect yourself. I've heard of the worst injuries I've heard of is people felting onto a mat and the a not lot lots of people needle felt and never injure themselves at all beyond a little bit of bleeding and we'll do that um but i have heard some people have i don't i don't want to gross you all out by saying but some people have managed to have like a little bit more serious injuries um so it is possible it's certainly needle felting is not a thing to get children involved in unless they're very careful there there is there is a danger so there is danger felting. Um, uh, G. Morgan, I like old movies so I can listen while I crochet. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, I like to, I've been grabbing some movies as well, but I do like to like just put a box set on and just sit and, and do nothing. But that does mean that when I'm busy, like I have been just now, I watch some absolute rubbish. I feel like I've ran out of, adult television shows i'm watching riverdale just now which is like a, a school school drama but hey if something's well written it's well written and if it passes the time so i can get my work done there we go so that there's my guilty guilty thing i watch all sorts of rubbish absolutely um oh chat's moving there we go and uh, george from massage used latex finger cuts all right cool um a g was weaving in the ends and stabbed my stabbed your thumb with a rather dull yarn needle and it still drew blood oh no well there's they can still even though they're dull they still can yeah but gotta be careful <laughs> uh, george's painting so try and not scream try and not scream too loudly i promise i'll do my best i'll do my best not to, not to injure myself that i need to scream but yeah hopefully not a uh, dps sounds painful i guess it's like using a thimble which is not comfortable in my opinion i don't use one and therefore stabbing occurs yeah that's it i think any kind of needlework or whatever like thimbles thimbles are there some people use them not everybody does so i think i'm probably overstabbing this just now um what's it saying um pull open the fibers at the neck and sit the head inside the neck so it really is i've left that fairly loose and the head what's a good way up it doesn't really matter so the head really sort of sits inside the kind of look at the picture yeah they don't have much of a neck as such so i'm going to join yep yeah. felt all the loose fibers from the neck um to the head to attach it and felt from all different angles yeah lots of good advice in this tutorial i'm loving it really is suitable yeah i could see i I can't remember being a beginner. It was so long ago, but I think this is, is good enough advice for a beginner. I have to confess, right, I'll, I'll tell you guys here. I think I mentioned it a while before, but before Christmas, I did an unboxing of the camel kit from World of Wool, and I was super impressed with the amount of fibers, and the kit looked amazing. And then I tried doing it and filming it at Christmas, and I still haven't finished it yet because the instructions are just not as detailed as I would like them to be you no know, to be following along like if I decided to sit down and make a camel at the stage I'm at I could look at pictures and make a camel I want a tutorial that tells me how to do it like this is saying make that kind of shape attach it here um so it just doesn't seem quite as in depth as that and I just haven't been enjoying it and the other thing, oh, and, and, and I know the woman who does the tutorials, her work is so, so amazing. Um, but the wires, she, the, the wires that come with the kit, far, far, far too rigid for, for me. Um, I couldn't bend them into shape. It was driving me 
Botty, Botty, Dotty. There we go. Um, I, G Morgan inherited your gram's thimbles. Don't remember her fingers being so small, but not one will fit your working digits. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Um, but an antique thimble con collection sounds lovely, though. And Rosani, always interesting to see things created without a wire armature. Yeah, it's fun to go wireless sometimes. I used to, most of my felts, I used to do wireless. I have on my blog, which I don't mention very often because it's terrible. Um, but way, way, way back, I did a tutorial for a wolf that I did. And that's completely without a wire. I just... I just use wire for my armatures for my dogs and stuff to kind of keep them in this in a similar size because when you're making stuff to sell um when people order something and then I go on a flight of fancy and it turns out 16 times bigger one day and then they order something the next week and it ends up teeny tiny so I use the wire just as a way to control the size because I get a bit mad <laughs> It, it's it's kind of going bird shaped. I might have it might have a bit too much head. I'm not maybe not. But yeah, I'm just I'm at the side of I've got the the picture here that I'm just looking back at trying to we must be adding more beak because that's not enough beak. That <laughs> looks strange. Um but yeah the top of the head definitely seems very rounded. The back's quite straight and then a big fat belly. So I'm working on that. Um yeah, so we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure how how firmly to felt this. It doesn't look madly yeah. The pictures, it doesn't look like it's gone fully felted, so I won't go too far. It's too easy to just sit and felt away till it's it's rock hard but i want to know what the entire rest of the shape is going to be like so let's look on to the next bit so take some yellow orange and white wool bats um and mix them together Ew. Uh, see free tutorial on mixing at our website um yeah okay so i've got to take Cool. I like this. They're making us do a blend. So take some yellow, and it looks like about about that much. A yellow, orange. Am I missing some red? I don't see some red. A yellow, orange. Oh no, yellow, orange, and white wool. Yep. So it doesn't say red. I'm making that up. A little bit of the white. Take some yellow, orange, and white wool. Okay, okay, done that. That's all the colours there, yep. And mix the colours by teasing them apart between my fingers. I think I want a little more orange. Right, I see what the problem is. Not a problem, but what's causing me trouble is it says yellow, orange, and white wool. And I'll just show you there. And the picture to my mind is saying yellow, orange and red um but and um oh and there is white in there as well but yeah so there's like twice as much orange as there is yellow um mix the colors together like like a so and then lay the mixed fibers over the belly up to the neck um oh if there are streaks in the fibers lay them running from the head to tail to give the illusion of feathers so i want to blend it but not all the way so it's kind of gonna have streaks I'll, I'll use their word it's gonna have streaks um edgy morgan kingfishers have big heads and beaks cool um <laughs> <laughs> typos from your non thimbleable fingers and teeny tiny phone keyboard <laughs> no problem i understand what you're all saying anyway i've never figured out how to do chat yet on a phone i only ever managed to do it on um desktop from a randomly pointing at something you can't see right okay um i'm gonna pick out a couple i don't think 
I don't think I like the white being in there. So I'm picking out some of the bits of white and I'm just going to, yeah, it definitely is showing. So I'm going to layer this down. It's probably not as blended as it should be, but I'm going to pull bits out so that it does have this shape. And it's saying, um, yeah, it's going from sort of like the chin, <laughs> the chinage area. So I'm just pulling off the bits so that it does give this shape that it the illusion of feathers oh that's actually looking quite pretty it looks a bit more crazy on camera i could have blended it a bit further but um not want to keep you from your sunday too long we'll see if we can get we can get a kingfisher by the end of this i think we should hopefully we should all right so again layering this all the way from the chin down, it looks right down to the bottom of his tail on the pictures. I'm nervous, I really hope this works out now. Um, ah, we'll get something, we'll always get something. And I like that I haven't blended these colors madly well. I'm happy with that because if you can see camera's picking it up a bit worse than it is I'm going to add some more little pieces of red on top because it does look more red than anything so I'm just pulling off a tiny amount and then layering it on top so the other colors will just poke through this is me this is just me adding because I think mine looks more yellow than theirs does so I'm just adding a bit more but it will still you still have some yellow poking through as well I think that might work fingers crossed right. and then that is nearly as finished the first page um, use your felt and needle to stab through the mixed wool into the core um, if you want to change your body shape stab gently with your needle if you want to continue to shape stab deeper okay so there's little little snippets of advice as we go along as well that's kind of cool right that looks more more red but you can see bits of orange through it so this this camera is picking up colors like way more than it should do but there we go so I'm just going to stab this in. Uh, G Morgan, not a felt and cat question. If you if you're making this as a custom order, do you get paid before you get the materials and make it? Uh, yeah, all my custom orders, I take full payment up front. Um, but what I what I say basically is I do unlimited alterations. So I take the full full payment and then I create the sculpture, send them images and then they tell me anything they need changed or anything. I used to do it other ways in the past, but this way just make sure like if I've got 40 people sitting waiting and some have paid and some haven't paid and some are difficult to get hold of and don't pay. So literally they pay the full price and that gets them in the queue it's just the easiest way and I've not I, I, maybe I get about two people a year who are wanting you to make it before they pay for it but no I'm not working I'm not working for free um and people are more like if they don't like if they, if they're not 100 percent happy with it they're more happy to work with you if they've already paid they're more happy to work to make sure that they get the thing that they want rather than if they haven't you know, if they're not going to pay up front, they might just be like, oh, let's just get her to make something and see how it is. Oh, that's cute. Right. Bye. Um, so, yeah, get them get them to pay up front. And then everybody's committed to making the final piece piece good. Uh, right. OK, I said we're on to page two. I'm excited. OK. Oh, page two. Mix together the turquoise and royal blue. Oh, this, this sounds more complicated. I might have to pay attention. Uh, take a pinch of the mixed colour and fold three sides in, leaving the last side 
Ah, okay, yeah, so we're making a little tail. So we'll mix together the turquoise and royal blue. That's turquoise, that's definitely turquoise. Ah, there we go, that's royal blue. Um, although it does, right, I'm going to say again, I'm not complaining, just pointing out. In the picture, it's saying mix together turquoise and royal blue, but it looks like they're saying to mix together all three of the colours. Um, oh, hang on. Um, yeah, we've got darker turquoise, turquoise and royal blue. So that's darker turquoise. So that's turquoise and royal blue. Got it, got it, got it, got it. So turquoise and royal blue. I love these colours. They are so pretty. Um, I'm even going to do what it tells me to here. Okay, so you take these and I'm going to mix these together to get a kind of turquoisey blue. Um, DPS, yeah, better to get paid up up front. Okay, so mix these together and then it says take a pinch of the mixed colour and fold three sides in, leaving the last loose and fluffy. And that's going to be his tail. So that gives me an idea of how much I need. Um, and it says to do it onto the mat, which I think I will do just for not stabbing myself. So Okay, it's not the best blended, but take a pinch of this and it wants us to, I'll show you. Um, so we're wanting to, well, it's catching some white on it, sort of fold in the top and two sides and leave the bottom flat. So I'm kind of making a rectangle shape. That's hard to felt and show you, but I'm sure you understand. Um, Place on the felting mat and stab all over to firm up. Carefully peel away from the mat occasionally. Yep, yeah, because as you're felting, for people who haven't done felting before, when the needle goes in, it takes fibres with it from the top, goes right through, and it can get stuck into the foam pad. So you felt it a little bit till it gets a wee bit, wee bit more like felt and not quite just fuzzy wool and then peel it off before it gets totally stuck i'm going to flip it over and felt that a few times because this is going to be his tail so i want it kind of fairly firm um uh g morgan agreed it's better for money up front but how do you ask especially if they want a hard to find fiber or it has to be specially dyed um it's for, for me it's not even a case of asking up front um if they want me to work for them right border that now um i'm going to do it off the pad so i'm just felting into the sides so if i'm going to be working for them they just literally purchase the listing for the full price um as for hard to find fibers or specially dyed, um, basically I have, I think, right, can I show you guys this? Come with me. I have, that's all my colors sitting there and in in the cupboard at the side there, um, in, in the cupboard I have all my scraps of, every color of the rainbow so basically i just have everything i'm going to need already but that took a while to build up to but even so felting wool isn't massively expensive your price for your listing is in your time so right, that's gonna be too far now because you will see what i'm doing so um charge plenty enough and if they want anything you know if if the sculpture needs anything difficult then you've got the extra money to be able to buy buy things in basically um so yeah don't worry about it too much and um even speciality dyed is not really not been a problem so much of late i've found places to buy all the colors that i want pretty much and i don't give people I don't give people much of a choice. They get what they get. <laughs> um, 
A uh, Rosanna, yeah, just be specific in your descriptions. Absolutely. Uh, Wendy finally made it. Hi there, Wendy. Hey, um, we are felting a kingfisher. Kingfisher. Um, yeah, while we're here, right, I should have when when I knew it was going to be kingfishers, but I wasn't sure what you guys would ask me to felt. Um, but do you have kingfishers in your in your country? Is this something because it's definitely I think I've seen kingfishers a couple of times. They're not massively common to be seen, but they are one of our, our more pretty birds. Um, UK birds tend to be more, I guess, well, they're not dull colours. We've got like blue tips with a beautiful blue and yellow. We, we do have, have some pretty birds, but kingfishers are the, are the prettier looking ones. I think woodpeckers can come in some fun colours too. Um... Uh, G. Morgan, it's the time they have to wait that bothers you. Yeah, and uh, that that can be a problem. But if you're up front, if someone asks for, you know, usually before they make a listing, though, before they purchase a listing, they they ask. But if they just purchase, then I make sure in my first message to them to give an idea of how long this is going to take. So if you are having to order some stuff in. I will, this is going to fall. I actually had started making this little dog for someone and it's going to, it looks better on camera than in real life, the colour. Um, it's a Cocker Spaniel or it will be eventually, but I'm totally not happy with that colour. So I've just ordered another colour and hopefully that should only take a few days to come. But, you know, I've just, I just keep my customer up to date. Like, I don't like that colour. I haven't got a better colour, so I've just ordered some more in. Um, so, yeah, just trying to be honest with them to start with on how long. And this this past wee while, since February, when I had the big um, Instagram sales, big scary sales, everyone that's bought from me, I've said it'll take about six to eight weeks. and everybody's been pretty cool after about six weeks you start getting a few messages like where's my sculpture and I just message them and say you know here here here's where it's at here's what we're doing and they've all been fine and you know right little little secret but what I found um when I was just having one order making it and shipping it out if I, I, I would get an order and then I was like up all night finishing it so I was get it done in about a day and when I was doing them super quick, people just kind of, they were a lot more fussy. They would always want loads of different things. But when they've had to wait for six weeks, they're a lot more happy with what I make for them. Funny that. <laughs> All right. So I seem to have a little square for his tail. And I'm to pop this in at the back here. Oh, yeah, that's that's working. I like that. Yeah, so pop his, his little tail in at the back. Um, yep. Sorry, reading and not, not speaking. Yeah, Rosani, communication is important and customers appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the other thing I get. People talk a lot on Etsy, especially about your... Um, feedback ratio because it is true that the way the system is it's a bit harder to get feedback people are less likely to leave feedback for you now than they used to in the past um but my feedback ratio is pretty high and that is not because i'm amazing or anything but just because there has to be some level of um communication people i have to talk to people which if you just buy something and it's just sent to you people are less likely to give you a decent review they're just happy with it that's fine but if you're having to communicate with people you're sending them pictures you you tell them that their dog's gorgeous because it is you know then you you get more better feedback there we go we've got a tail on <laughs> rosani it's looking Wendy, hello. <laughs> Wendy's late and we're still here. Yep, yep, yep. Um, 
you're about to catch catch the replay but this is the wonderful people yeah and for everyone just joining or who's who's missed missed the start and um, this is not a sponsored video but the wonderful people at the makers which is a uk based needle felting company sent me their may subscription box which is kingfishers and daisies so every month you just pay a monthly subscription and every month they send you out a box with some projects in it and all looks like fantastic instructions for how to how to make the things all the materials you're needing to make them and basically it's just a bit of inspiration and i just checked online that um it's 17 pounds which i think we're getting a lot for 17 pounds which is pretty cool um but yeah they sent me this so we had a look opened it up and and you lovely people suggested that i should make the sculpture the options were a 3d sculpture a 2d picture of kingfishers or the um daisy daisy brooches so we're making the sculpture because it was requested so so far it's not bad it's always nerve-wracking doing these things live because i've not looked at this i don't know the instructions i don't know where the instructions are going to go next i don't know if i'm doing this wrong or right i mean i won't like like i could have blended the colors better that's that's a bit but i actually i think it's kind of cute um the variation in colors but yeah i totally could have blended them better right um wing mix mix the three turquoises together let's do this and these colors are so lovely um <laughs> wendy yep fun um and anyone who wants to make a kingfisher and share it oh yeah i forgot to forgot to tell you all that um the Pam Duffy's Felting Friends on Facebook has been renamed. I decided um, to go with Pam Duffy's Crafty Friends so that anyone, not just not just needle felters, but everyone can join in. So if you're if you make if you make if you have a go at some kind of random kingfisher, then feel free to pop it up on Pam Duffy's crafty friends um if you get any of the makers kits or anything and you make anything they have a facebook page as well and they're more than love to see that work you've done with with their stuff <laughs> wendy can you see the wolves up close you can indeed right i've i've been fizzing them out <laughs> i've been using them but I'll show you what we got in here sorry if everyone's already seen this before but wendy asked nicely okay they were packed nicer than this and my camera's picking up colors a bit different but this is quite an orangey red color uh we have turquoises pinks yellows more turquoise brown a uh, nice royal blue lettuce stuff. <laughs> um and they gave us what six felting needles i've got a felting pad um some uh, the dissolvey water soluble paper to do the pictures uh, some felt and oh, the instructions right this is only this is only the instructions for the 3d sculpture there's also instructions probably even thicker than this for the paintings um and and the brooches there's full instructions <laughs> <laughs> um wendy doesn't have all weighing issues is it a short fibered bat yes they're bat they're okay i know you're in america so it's not the same but i've used their bats before i've just bought individual colored bats and it's really good stuff it's a really short staple fiber and it felt really quickly it's really cool and i'm using I, I am surprised already. I'm felting with their medium needle. They don't tell you what size it is, but it's medium. And it's felt, I'm pretty, I've, I've not sworn and switched to my needle that I like. Right, anyway, so yeah, so here's here's the colours for the wing, which is a mix of turquoise and blues that I've just got to blend. Now I could, this is a, yeah, I still could. 
I could felt with my dog brushes. I could felt I could blend with my dog brushes, but it's saying just to do it by hand, so I can do that. Um, so mix the colours together and lay over the wing area, overlapping onto the belly with the streaks running head to tail. Uh, ee. Okay, I'm trying to understand this, but I'm sure I'm sure it'll make sense. Um, oh, okay. So yeah, I just lay it on the birds, and then um, it's showing you how to get nice clean lines between the colours. That's cool. Um, and we're going to make wing tips. Cool. I've to, right, I've got to stop reading ahead, but this is fun. <laughs> um, oh, Rosani, thank you. Um, kingfishers are sat, found in southern regions of the USA, like Florida. Ah, that's interesting because the UK does not have a climate like Florida. Certainly doesn't have a climate. I mean, I. I'm not sure if you get kingfishers in Scotland. Can someone Google? Um, I've not seen, it tends to be things I've seen and heard of in England rather than Scotland. So that is slightly warmer. Um, but yeah, even, even England doesn't have a Florida type climate. So that's interesting. <laughs> Wendy, I love that. <laughs> is this Wendy being tempted to buy some more fibre? I have to admit, after you, um, Wendy posted on the Facebook group about buying fiber and stuff, and I, I might have possibly went. I, I needed shopping for the, for the dog that I'm not happy with the color it is. I, I needed to go shopping. I honestly needed some more fibers. I did possibly spend fifty quid on fibers again. I'm terrible. Um. Oh, Wendy had had a kingfisher in her fish pond. Um, maybe it was lost. <laughs> oh, Georgia, see you. See you next time. Thank you so much for dropping by. <laughs> oh, Rosani, it wasn't lost. It was drawn to Wendy's love of animals, of course. Right. Okay, that's blended enough. I'm not going to do these blends perfectly because we haven't got all day to see that. So this is going to be very, very variegated. Um, oh, Evelyn, definitely get kingfishers in Scotland. Cool, they are beautiful. I totally agree. Yes, um, <laughs> Wendy, it's crazy how we can have so much and still not have the right colors. So true. Okay, so I've got to pop this over where his kind of wing shape will be, and then felt a line down the edge of his wing these the blend I've made is really terrible but anyway felt down and then fold back so I get a nice clean edge that's cool I like that um and then do the same on the other side so basically I'm just covering his his body his wings where his wings are going to be and I need to keep a spare bit of this aside I'll do that in a sec um right so again so yeah it's felt in letting it overlap more than i think i want and then felt in a straight line down and folding back the overlap so i get a nice clean line that's nice tip thank you so much guys um that's cool all right so i'm just gonna start i actually i'm Okay, the colours are not blended very well, but I think it's still going to be okay. I'm, I'm happy with it. I would have been happy just to do it in any one of the solid colours. They would have looked cool as well. So I needed to spend more time blending the colours. No, no denying that. That's the truth. Um, right. I just want to spend a little bit of time getting this felted a little bit more. I don't have enough to cover. He's got a bold back. I'll just cover everything up just now and then we'll see what it wants us to do next. But yeah, I want to felt this and get it a bit. 
the more I felt it a bit firmer, the colours might look a little less unblended. But yeah, we don't don't have all day to do this perfectly. I would probably take, I'm going to say, if you were doing this by yourself, doing it properly, spending the time to blend all the colours properly, I think this could be maybe a three, four hour project. Would you guys, guys think? Something to spend a bit of time on because he's going to be, pretty and the colors are so stunning um and wendy just went on the makers website they have some cool stuff they really do and they're wonderful people and um, they also have a youtube channel of the same name they've got great projects great ideas so it's well well worth checking them out and obviously tell them i i sent you so because i i really appreciate what that they've they've sent me this to have a play with i'm super super pleased so just let let them know that i sent you so so they know i'm worth it <laughs> um uh, rosani often wonder how how species are appearing here and there but it may be that some are introduced as pets that's very true i'm not sure would kingfishers i don't think kingfishers would make great pets but yeah in in a lot of the cases um I think people have had them as pets. There is, in the UK, quite often we get um, panic on the, on the news going, oh my goodness, there's a big cat spotted somewhere. And some of that has been people had them as pets. And oh, years and years ago, it became illegal for normal people to keep them as pets so that some of them were just released into the wild and some are seen but sometimes the picture in the paper you just look and go no that's just a cat a tabby cat or a little bit away that's that's just a normal cat it's not a big cat we don't have massive predators Uh, George, in acrylics, you can always blend the primary colours, but it's always nice to have more colours. Absolutely. Um, yeah, you can you can make any colours from the, the primary colours. That's so true, but you can get much nicer. And with the felting wool, as you can see, I mean, it takes a bit to blend. I've not blended the colours great, so it's always so much easier and so much nicer because you get different tones and things that's much easier if somebody's dyed them direct and trying to blend them all together. I completely agree. <laughs> Wendy, I'm totally worth it. Al, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, Wendy, we had a town that has a huge population of parrots. A few were let loose and they took over. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think I've heard there's some parrots. I think there's some loose in England. Um, but oh, and I've got some. I've got another story there as well. I think there's some loose in England, but it's really cool. If it's weird and it shouldn't be, but if if they were released and they've taken over, so there's a huge population, then it means that um, there's they're obviously doing well. So that's good. It's it's a worry when the the animals can't do well, and I don't like don't like to hear that. Um, but yeah, there is about half an hour away from me on Loch Lomond I, can't remember, I think I spoke about this before um, but um, Loch Lomond has a load of islands on it and some of the islands um, they're not inhabited anymore but there's one that has a hotel on it so you can go and stay on it and some have campsites um, but one of the larger islands um, that had a uh, wallabies uh, little, little kangaroos um and i think that was the same the rich people had kept them as pets and then when when they left the the wallabies just bred and there's a happy little thriving population in in an island not very far away from me so i, I have to see the i have to see the wallabies someday um uh, Wendy looked up kingfishers on Google and think there are more variations in America. Ah, yeah, of course. Um, yes, they don't. In in the UK, that it, it is this kind of turquoise and an orange. That's that's the kind of that's that's the colours we get. Um, and I think they're adorable. But yeah, I, I think I had seen you get lots of different different colours. So yeah, what what we, what we might consider a kingfisher might not be the same as 
everywhere else in the world. Right, okay, I want to feel that more, but let's let's not, let's get on with this. Um, take a pinch of royal blue and turquoise. Uh, right, 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 can do. Take a pinch of royal blue and whoop. Take, take an extra pinch. And turquoise. Take a pinch of royal blue mixed with turquoise. Yeah, I was wondering what was going on there. And I'm going to fold it in half. Oh, this is going to be like the wing tip. Oh, that's cool. Um, right, so I'm going to take this and divvy it into two. And so fold it in half. And then into quarters so it's got a little tip shape um felt the tip separately should should do this on the map but on the map on the mat yeah can't speak now should do this on the mat so we're making just a tiny little wing wing tip felting that so it will stick out at the bottom that's cool um and it's saying attach the wing tip low down on the back near the tail Cool, cool, cool. That's cute. Um, yeah. All right. Um, uh, Evelyn, we only have one variety in the UK, but they're so pretty. Yes, I, I do think they're stunning. Yes. Uh, Wendy, read about people releasing big snakes in florida that were having problems with them oh yeah i don't definitely um i've heard in the uk like obviously people who keep snakes occasionally they can escape and stuff but our climate's not suitable for for cold-blooded anyway which is cool we only have i've never never touch wood yet i've never seen a snake because in in the uk we only have two two species there's an adder which is poisonous but we don't see very many of them although a friend of mine where they live they see a lot of them um but there's adders or there's a grass snake which i believe is a slow worm rather than a snake i don't know but yeah thankfully we we're actually super lucky right i'm going to do the other wing we're super lucky in the uk that we have very few deadly or even even kind of scary things where <laughs> we're quite chicken in our species which i'm more than happy with uh, wendy the parrots the town's been trying to shoo them away because they're ruining the power lines with their nests and they're blowing out transformers oh yeah that that could be a problem i mean it'd be pretty I, I would love to see a big flock of parrots but yeah not if they're destroying your town yeah that's that's not cool but it does kind of make me so of all the things that you can have as a pest in your town like it could be rats or any kind of things that aren't quite so pretty but to have a, a, a pestilence of parrots <laughs> that sounds so much fun uh rosani frequent in incident incident inst instances there words i i I need staff to teach me how to to speak. Frequent instances of illegal wildlife smuggled in and sold, unfortunately. Yeah, there's there always has been a trade in in things like that, I'm afraid. Yep. Uh, Wendy, you're a kind of bird watcher where you live and love identifying birds. Awesome. Uh, kingfishers only migrate through where you live, so you haven't seen any there yet. Oh, but well, I hope you do someday. I didn't know kingfishers might were migratory. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I I know um, where my mum used to live. She used to put out a lot of food for birds and there was lots of lots of birds came to the garden which is quite cool i've done a terrible job of making those even right you didn't see that at all but you can <laughs> you can do that if you get things wrong now i would felt this firmer but we don't have all day <laughs> um i just wanted to get this done so you can get an idea and i can make it pretty later um so the wing this little tip is going on down near the bottom just to make it a little bit of a wing 
that's pretty cool yeah just adding a little bit so you can tell it's a wing yeah liking that oh i've got hiccups now that was that juice that i had like an hour ago <laughs> okay just trying to balance these wings that works yeah okay i'm happy with that i would have spent forever making an entire individual wing but just adding the wing tip is a great way to go about it right more more felty so i'm felting that wing tip on without felting the tip in so it's a separate little thing um that's, it's looking like something if you're gonna make blend better than me but yeah it's looking like a thing and um, that's what i've been finding with the the makers kits and tutorials is they certainly seem to have little little helpful tips little shortcuts and things that i wouldn't think of and that's what i want from a tutorial not someone that tells me here's here's a picture of a kingfisher get on and make it but they help me out with little things that i wouldn't have thought of different ways of doing things i think that's what a kit should be in in my opinion um dps you've got to go have lunch oh thank you so much for joining us Katie, there we see. I'll, I won't remember. You've probably told me your name 40 times before. I won't remember. But yeah, thank you so much for joining us. It's been fun. Um, Wendy, they're super beautiful, but they're so loud. <laughs> Wendy, yeah, you like your method. You like their methods. They make things so much easier. Absolutely. Yeah. I think I, I try and do things too difficult sometimes. So I'm I'm super happy with little little tips that make my life life easier. Um yee. So okay, again I would felt this so much firmer and blend this so much better. But it it's it's bird -like. that's kind of working. I like the way the shape you've got the wing and the tail. But they've just been super easy. I would have literally made all of those things separately. Um, mix, mix white and turquoise with the long. F mix white and turquoise. Trying to read, read and understand while also speaking out. Um, doo -doo. Mix white and turquoise wool bats with the long ram rammy fibers. So it wasn't. I thought this was um silk but it's not um add this down the back to the spine area oh well oh i see i see i see i got it got it so we're going to take a bit of this stuff and a bit of the white and a bit of the turquoise and we're to blend this to make a really fine turquoise colour that apparently um, kingfishers have that go down down the back spine area. It's fascinating. I didn't know that. Okay, so I'm blending a super light colour, blending it terribly badly. Um. Yeah, Wendy's learning new ways of doing things. Yeah, this is cool. We're, we're all learning today. So makers, thank you. I love the little tips. I, I enjoy learning different ways of doing things. Okay. Um, and I know, right, I, I believe the makers themselves are at a craft fair today. So they were going to try and pop in, but they probably won't be able to. But if you do watch, thank you so much. This is so cool. Um, and other wendy too many wendy's not too many but we can have as many wendy's as we want right so i'm going to take a pinch of this it's not blended as well as it should be but i've got a pinch of this kind of turquoisey color that just goes down their back that's i didn't know that about them but that's cool see learning about kingfishers too right cool little flash of white that's nice um yeah wendy that's a great tip, as Rosani would have done the same thing. Um, Wendy, yeah, um, different fibres are hard to blend. It's easier, I, I know you know about the dog 
the dog card brush um, and also the more you felt it running the needle in all different directions will start to blend it out as well so yeah they've got a little little bit of white down their back as well that's cool um, I'm trying to trying to keep them a little chunky shape as well I'm not sure I'm managing great um, uh, Paula, hey there, you've missed everything. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, we're just eh, still got a head, still got a head to go. But yeah, this has been great fun with the Maker's Kit, um, the, the Maker subscription box, having a go at their Kingfisher. And yeah, if anyone hasn't got it yet, I believe there's still time. There's going to be, you can make this in it or well a better version of this that's not quite so rushed you can make this guy in it or a picture of the a picture of these or daisy not or and daisy so it's like three projects in the box which i think is pretty generous um so what's next cover the whole head with more of the royal blue and what turquoise mix so i need to mix more of the royal blue and turquoise enough for the head i'm gonna gonna make it more of the darker blue than the turquoise it does look like it's sort of more darker up top so a few pinches of this so yeah it would be much easier if i used my dog brushes to card it together but it's a bit of fun he doesn't have to be perfect he's he's my kingfisher <laughs> uh, Rosani working a kingfisher without an armature yeah well this guy certainly doesn't need an armature I've not I've not felt the missing of it it's been fairly easy I do love instructions where it is for the the core wall you have this much splitted into what was take a quarter off roll it up you know everybody can make it the same size there's no guesstimating so that's pretty cool right um going to kind of go with this terrible blend that I've made and yes it says cover where did I get to cover the whole head with more of the royal blue and turquoise mix so let's get this head covered I'm just there's big blobs that I've not mixed very well so I'm just putting them to the bottom so I can cover them up so it doesn't look too horrific but doing what I can spend if you're making it yourself yourself spend more time on it but yeah it's gonna be cool um uh, Paula thank you so much it's looking good already yeah well the, but the instructions have been great I won't say that I'm doing the best job but yeah well we've what with the opening and everything this is less than an hour so I think we're we're going not too bad um yeah, so head covered. It it definitely looks like a bird. <laughs> okay, no crazy mad parrot at the minute. Um, but it's some kind of bird, which is good. I might have gone a bit too big with the head. We'll try and felt that down. So guys, entertain me. Keep talking to me so I can spend the time to get the head down. And yeah, well, well while we're here, while we have a minute, uh what what have you guys been creating crafting today or if anyone has any questions about your selling online as well i'm here to cover all of them too loads of loads of great great stuff um i do i just just today i've filmed three great videos hopefully great blip blow my blow my own but I've, i'm going to be doing for the next week or two we're going to have a series all about seo search engine optimization sort of deep diving in that so if you guys are interested in that um etsy seo so keep an eye out this week um for the first of those videos to drop and that's that's the big thing um and hopefully once i've done with those four videos which should take up about two weeks i'm trying to debate either you guys let me know either doing a series on how to create the perfect listing like how to pick your keywords how to go in depth and get more better keywords uh, lots of all the things how to do the title how to do the tags how to do the description all of that um 
or there might be something new coming up from E rank. So I might have even more. That's why I haven't done the deep dive into more of the e rank.com the tool. Um, but there might be some new interesting things coming out. So I might do a bit bit more into that if you guys let me know what you fancy. Um George, E-Rank, PayPal or credit card? Um, e -rank, well, firstly, E-Rank, uh, you can totally, the free account's fantastic. So if you haven't used it at all or you've not used it that much, I would get in, use the free version until you really get the hang of it. But when you're wanting to pay for E-Rank and um, for the subscription for E-Rank, I believe it's just PayPal just now, but I'll have to look into it. Um, but yeah, that's that's a month, monthly monthly um, monthly subscription. Yep. Um, Wendy started a moon with a baby sleeping for my cousin's baby shower. I've put it off for so long. I had to take a break from my collab project. Collab. <laughs> it's in timeout while I figure out what I'm doing. Oh, Wendy, see you in your timeout. <laughs> <laughs> you're badly behaved felt <laughs> but that sounds cool um a moon with a baby sleeping on it that sounds lovely i love your creative moons and um, we had a look at the santa claus moon thingy last week awesome oh paula haven't picked up your needle and wolves for many months been in a depressive depressive funk but watching the videos um Oh, while well, you're felting something perks you up. Oh, thank you so much. I I totally know what you mean though. I haven't done anything creative. It's all been work, 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 work for the whole of this year, pretty much. I had so many things that I wanted to do, but then just the mojo went and I was just just making stuff. So this this has been a godsend to just try and get something fun and creative and different. And he's got a rather big head. But anyway, it's it's just something different. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Wendy, wish they had an app. Talk to them. Uh, Wendy, I believe you can use eRank on your phone, and I'm sure that I will. I will talk to them. Absolutely. Um, do you not use your desktop? Um, but yeah, I believe you can on your phone. I will look into it. I will speak to them. But I'm sure that's that's things that's coming. I back of my head, I believe I remember Anthony saying something about about an app. So definitely, yeah, look into that. That's some more. Um, but I'm I'm sure you can use it on your phone. But yeah, it's probably not it. Everything is so big. There's so many like keywords and everything. It takes up so much space on the screen that, yes, you do seem to, it, it does kind of need to be on a computer to get full benefit. But I'm sure I've seen some people with screenshots from their phone. So you can do something, but it's not the same. Um, but anything you need help with as well, we, we're all here. We can, we can help you with some keyword research and stuff. Uh, Rosani's working on kits, templates, diagrams, illustrations, parts, and pictures. Awesome. Yeah, that's, I keep meaning to do kits, um, but I haven't got around to it. Um, oh, Wendy, haven't felt it in a while. Been ill, and then my room went to pot, so I had to clean and organize. <laughs> my, you guys just seen my, my room, my room's always gone to pot. <laughs> But but yes, um, well, hopefully uh, the mojo comes back. Um, okay, yeah, Wendy. Okay, so there's not a a specific E rank app, but yeah, probably people can use it on the browser on their phone. Yeah, got you. Um, I'll I'll ask Anthony about that. Um, I'm sure he he has a team that kind of web development's way beyond me, but he does have a team of clever people that I'm sure someone's working on that because it is important. Right, okay, he does have a giant head. I might have made the head a bit too big. Um, mix royal blue and black. Oh, oh, this is what the pipe clean is for. Hey, oh, good idea. Right, where did I put the pipe cleaner? 
here it is yeah so i've got a little pouch with some pins and a pipe cleaner i was wondering how i was going to do the beak yay with a pipe cleaner that's that's what the tiny bit of pipe cleaner is for okay and i said mix a bit of the royal blue which i'll pick out of the blend that i've done here because that's easier mix a bit of royal blue go away turquoise mix a bit of the royal blue and the black wait where's the black so we're going to blend these oh that's cool so yeah it's a dark a dark blue for the beak that's cool um tease the fibers into a long thin strand hold your piece of pipe cleaner with one hand and your other hand uh, lay the fibers against the pipe cleaner and twist it on um so I want to leave one centimeter uncovered, one centimeter thick tapering to a pointed end. Okay. So wrapping a beak. Awesome. That that makes it so much easier. So pointed end, just getting it a bit thicker. Ooh, that's a bit too thick, but anyway. Oh, Wendy, there isn't, um, this wee guy isn't going to have feet. I don't know if you can see the picture. He's just kind of sitting on a log. They have said they do, um, the makers do sell feet. So you could get feet if you wanted to feed him. But <laughs> my made up words are wonderful. Um, so you could get feet if you wanted to, but this doesn't come with feet. It's, it's a, they're calling this a beginner project. I am finding it quite, it's good. It's, it's been really good. Um, but yeah, I'm, well, I'm learning stuff. Um, but yes, no, no feet. So that's, that's, I think that's great because feet's the difficult part. I like to keep the picture. I like to have the picture by, yeah, so that, that's beaky. It's not blended well, but we, we knew that. Right. What did I do with mum and needle? Ah, good. Left it stuck. What I usually do when I'm doing something and I'm felting and I have to put the needle somewhere, I usually put it in my mouth. So that's why I kind of lost it there <laughs> because I'm trying to talk and I can't put the needle in my mouth at the same time. Okay, I think it kind of worked as a beak. I've not felted it greatly. Um, I was I can see that the blue is really picking up. I didn't blend it very well. It's really picking up on camera, but it is more subtle in real life. Okay, let's let's go on to the page. We're on the last page. Awesome. Oh, oh cool. I love this. Right. I was wondering how this would work. So you're gonna love this. So to get to do the beak, we make a we make a snip. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> um so you make a snip and then the beak goes into the snip. How clever is that? And then when that felt stick it. <laughs> you see what I just did there? <laughs> That's brilliant. Um, I should have made that end bit a little bit thicker, I think. So let's let's do I'm gonna shove that up a little bit to make that thicker so it will look even better. But <laughs> yeah, so that goes in. That's so clever. I love that. Yay, brilliant. So that's how you get the all blendy. Again, I would have added the beak and then carefully tried to blend in the right, the lighter stuff to make the, where it joins into the beak. Is that, is that even English? Okay, I should have made this beak a little bit thicker, but I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fine. Right. Um, <laughs> Paula, cringe watching me hold and stab because you, you'd pass out from blood loss if you did. <laughs> no, no blood loss yet. I've I've not even stabbed myself today yet, which is pretty impressive. Um, <laughs> Wendy, it kills you when the scissors come out. You physically winced. I know a little bit of um surgery on your sculptures, but we've all had to do that. Oh, I've had to do some real 
real crazy surgery on some of mine when they've gone wrong. But th this is is surgery with a point. It gives it gives a nice little no nosy bit. Um, yeah, I should have read ahead and looked at this and then figured out how to do it because I think the beak's going to be slightly too small, too narrow for me. But or rather, I've made the head too blooming big. Let's just let's just say it like it is. I've made the head too big, but that's a really clever way to add the beak because it gives the shaping. If you can sort of see that, not because I didn't blend the black so well, but it gives the kind of V and yeah, it gives it gives it all nice and easy. Um. Georgia, how long is the footage for my demos? How long are your how long is your edit process? Uh, that really depends. Some of um, some of my bigger pieces, like some of the the two D paintings I did, um, like Wednesday Adams and things like that, they took the best part of a week. Not solid um my camera gives me breaks it's great my camera can only do about an hour's worth of filming in in three sections um and then it overheats and needs to needs to have a rest so i have to have a break so i can do like an hour take a break but some of my bigger videos it really took about up to about a week um filming an hour our stunts um so yeah that's quite a lot of editing <laughs> uh, wendy rip stuff off you rarely you rarely cut yeah in general i do but that 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 had a reason for the ripping off to make the beakiness to make it beaky <laughs> oh, i want to spend so much time to make this look so much better but we want to get just a, a rough a rough idea so far and I will smooth it and I'll make it look awesome and you'll see pictures. Um, uh, when do you think they have? Paula, we're always our own worst critic. Absolutely. And that's how it should be. So we we have the perfectionist eyes and then other people can be happy with what we've made. Um, uh, George, thank you. I think it's looking great. Up, it's good. it's rushed. <laughs> but I'm not going to criticize. Thank you. Um, when do they do have skinny beaks? That's true. Um, Rosani, yeah, fiber sticks nicely to Chanel. It's it's not bad. It's, I use pipe cleaner all the time, um, and it is a little bit easier. It does hold. Uh, <laughs> Rosani, to beak or not? To to beak that is the question <laughs> uh, you love making beaks <laughs> wendy loves the tip but you just winced yes i know cutting cutting our poor little sculptures right <laughs> he's cute and a bit awful all at the same time um oh you could put pva glue inside the hole but i didn't need to um Oh, hang on, hang on. Wrap extra royal blue around the top of the beak where you cut it and felt into place. Hmm, I don't think it needs... Well, I, I do, but I don't. Um, I think it's okay. Mix. I'll mix the white with the... The fancy white. Rammy? I'm just going to go with just this already. Then uh, um, take a fine uh, there, there. Take a fine pinch of this. Roll into a loose ball. Um, okay, I'm going to take two because I know what's. I can see this is going to be some of the detail on its head. This is this is the exciting bit where it comes comes in together. So um, so making a kind of teardroppy triangly shape I want more than that right I'll show you so we're making this kind of white bit here which is a teardroppy triangle shape 
I'm so good at names for shapes, am I? You, you see, if, if anyone, and I know some of you watch Serafina and she has the perfect, she's got tacos and ghosts and all sorts of shapes. And me, I'm just like a kind of curvy, teardroppy, triangly shape. <laughs> That's why I don't make much in the way of tutorials. <laughs> anyway, right, we're making this kind of shape. I'm not even doing it very well. Um, and it goes on at the back of the head. So coming down the way. I will. So this is quite a mess, but I'll, I'm neating it, neatening it up. Um, <laughs> Rosanna, you're so punny. <laughs> nice one, Wendy. <laughs> coming in hot with the dad jokes. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, Paul, <laughs> the bad part of watching a live video, not wanting to leave to refill your coffee cup because I don't want to, I don't want to miss anything. Go, go, right, I'm just going to sit. Just everybody, we're going to wait till Paul gets, no, I'm going to keep, nothing's going to happen. You go and get some more coffee. It's important. I, I have a confession to make people. You know, I've been off coffee for about five weeks. And today I just needed a coffee before I could start filming. Sorry, I, I've had a coffee. Bad me. Um, so, yeah, I've had a coffee today. I feel bad because I've been so long without coffee. And there's nothing wrong with coffee. But I just, no, no willpower. I used it all up in not opening this box for a week. I'm so proud of myself on that. So I had coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Amantai is so cute. <laughs> I don't know what everyone says. I don't know. <laughs> Wendy watches watches on her phone, so I come with you. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Um, and a bit scary. <laughs> right. So that's the kind of that kind of e bit, and a similar spot. It says mixed orange and yellow, but honestly, I think that's the right color anyway. I'm just gonna go with that. It looks cool anyway. Um, so we're gonna make another little, and I'm not even gonna actually roll it into shapes and stuff. I'm just gonna felt it on like this because I can just felt it on easier like that. So it's gonna be another show. Whoops! Show you the picture. It's another kind of triangly shape going forwards. And I think these last few details with just the colour is what brings things to life. Um, or what ruins them. But yeah, what makes them the thing they're supposed to be. I think I need a little bit more just to cover the blue properly. Make a proper sheer covering. Um, There is Annie and the bird is coming to life. It is, it is, it is. I, I'm going to do it again and make a better one, but <laughs> it's really good instructions. It's just because I'm rushing through them. So I'm sure that anyone would be able to make. And the fibre is, I really am enjoying the fibre. I'm just not enjoying blending the fibre. Spend more time blending the fibre. Um. <laughs> Wendy can't stop coffee. Um, yeah, I know most people. Do, I I just go through phases. I, my problem is I either don't drink it at all or I drink far, far, far too much. I I have no self control. That's that's the word. I have no self control. But then I'm not sleeping well and stuff, and I need to be able to sleep at some point. It's kind of important. So yeah. Okay. And there's just, there's another wee bit of orange just above the beak, right? Wee bit of orange just above the beak. Yeah, I love the fine the the detail bits. They're the they're the really cool things that bring. It. And when I, I don't know if anyone else does this, but when I'm when I'm making my dogs and stuff, I've got them and I'm just almost finished and you know I've just got this fine detail bit to do but I spend absolutely ages fiddling away on the just felting everything firm and I put off this fine tuning these final bits I put that off for so long 
So I think I make my sculptures take twice as long as they need to because I just I put off the bit that because I'm nervous that it's not going to work. Oh, excuse me, hiccups, but this seems to be working. Kind of. Um, um, Wendy, Pam, why did you got to do this? I'm toying with getting this subscription. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Wendy, um, but it's it's a fun box. What can I say? <laughs> I'm not going to try and talk anyone out of supporting the makers because they are super cool. But at the same time, yeah, I know. We've... Like, if you haven't got all the colours and everything, and the instructions are so cool, and I do want to see someone make the daisies as well. <laughs> um, uh, George, do I use my phone camera or a regular one? Just now, this is a webcam. This is the Logitech C920, which is a really reasonable camera. And actually, um, I do have a mic here that I should be using, but I'm just doing the audio and everything off of the webcam. It's not the best quality in the world, but it's pretty cool. Um, for my videos, I use a Nikon 1J5. Um, but it doesn't have a separate mic, so I record audio. I have a I have a mic connected up to my phone, which is a Huawei Huawei Nine, I think. Um, so I can record audio on the phone, and I do some B roll when I'm fil when I'm filming my um, needle felting. I have an over I have my proper camera overhead. Bring the hand in. I have a proper camera overhead and I have my phone filming from the side as well. That's what I'm doing there. <laughs> Wendy, someone take my bank card. <laughs> uh, Patty's good. Pa Patty? Paula's good for coffee. It's because I saw coffee and pee and I just went, Patty. Um, it's almost 1 p.m. here. Yeah, it's, oh, it's nearly six here. Wow been on forever sorry guys <laughs> uh, Rosani will take Wendy's bank card <laughs> that's awful good of you um uh Wendy it'd be great to get the subscription but can't figure out how much it costs to ship to America um I don't know I'm right I can't imagine it will be loads but if someone finds out can you let me know um just because I know from me shipping um from me shipping just my sculptures to america it's our shipping isn't that expensive and their box is a good that says that would come in as a small parcel the weight isn't great so it wouldn't be a massive amount i don't think um but i don't know <laughs> um so yeah if you guys check our it seems that our worldwide shipping is not as expensive as it is to ship from America to the UK. We're quite lucky that our postal service is quite cheap. Um, but I'm not making promises. It might, I, I don't know. I've not tried to ship their stuff. Right, right, right. Um, okay, so here's where we've got to. Um, oh, we need to make a little patch of black for the eye. Awesome. Awesome. Where did I put the black? Here's the black. Um, so a little patch of black for the eye. It's quite far forward. It's sort of in between these two orange bits. Um, yeah, patch for the eye to go into. It's not for the eye because we have eyes. Um, <laughs> oh, Patty, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Wendy, yeah, I don't think Rosani would be helping if she had your credit card. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that one. I understand that one. Girl. I think Rosani's a terrible influence, and she would probably be having you buy all the stuff. <laughs> um, uh, Rosani has a cup of coffee in the morning and two cokes during the weekdays. Drink more coke on the weekend. <laughs> oh well, I don't feel so bad then. Um, I. It was about two to three coffees a day, but I just felt it was a little bit too much just for me. Um, but I'll probably have a coffee when I've finished this because I've broke my I've broke my goodness. 
Um, okay, so we're going to put the eyes in by doing it my way. That's good. Stabbing a little dent and keep stabbing until we get a, a way through. What? Right, this is hard. Where am I putting stuff? I found it. Yeah, I had things in my hand and then I put it down and I lose them. Right, so stabbing through a little tunnel into his eye to put his eyeball into. Um, oh, thanks, guys. I'm I'm glad you're enjoying this this slightly longer video. I didn't mean to go <laughs> go on, but at the same time, didn't want to stop with this guy. So nearly done. Um, all right, pop the eye in. Okay, I am going to have to glue these in because this isn't going to stay in place. So I will just, because I haven't felted this as firmly as I will, everything everything is a little bit softer. So the eyes are going in easier, but they're falling out easier. So I'll glue them. <laughs> oh, Wendy, Wendy's glad I'm on late because you get to hang hang out while you wake up. Well, that's cool too. That, that's good. Uh, it just feels so weird to me that you guys are just waking up and it's like six o'clock at night here. That's time zones. Um, oh, Wendy, um, they do have their shipping, but you don't know if you'd have to pay import taxes. Ah, um, you're researching, but your husband would probably lose his mind if you got <laughs> got a box every month. Yeah, good point. <laughs> yeah, I sorry, I don't know anything about your import taxes. Um, yeah, um, you could message them direct, but also you don't. It doesn't have to be a monthly box. You can cancel the subscription, but also, oh, there we go. He's got eyes in. That eyes always make a difference. So even somewhere to stick a needle. Um, but they do have boxes that aren't subscription boxes as well. <laughs> but I think the subscription's a fun idea because you don't know, you know, you haven't chose something, you're just getting a nice surprise. Okay, I haven't made his eyes even or anything, but yeah, um, it's good enough. <laughs> Little dab. This is right, this is my paver pole. Those of you who've been with me for a while, I bought paver pole about two years ago, and this is still the original bottle that I bought I've been I use it constantly and yeah it's still lasting me I think I'm only like used about that much of it just a tiny dab and it's not even supposed to be a glue it's a fabric hardener but but yeah that's that's working okay the eyes are in slightly squint but it gives it a bit more character <laughs> um oh thank you <laughs> it's, it's looking so pretty I think it, it's kind of it's cute. Um, I my OCD is going like I really want to work this my OCD like I'm looking at the state of my house and the disaster that's everything around. I'm not very OCD, but I really like to spend a lot of time on the sculptures. Um, but I think you get the idea that I mean it. It's a it's not going to start. <laughs> it's very beak heavy. <laughs> but anyway, that's. Yeah, I, I would like to spend a lot more time just smoothing them out and getting them a bit more perfect. But for free rush drop, it looks like a bird. That's my that's my first bird apart from penguins. I party would much rather watch someone felt their sculpture from beginning to end rather than fast speed um, and missing a lot. And the conversation's awesome. Oh, thank you. That's that's so good. It's, it's good feedback because I really struggle with the pacing of making videos that I want to show you all everything but at the same time you know people seem to get bored like if I make a 20 minute video and the average watch time is sort of five minutes you're like was it really worth that so life kind of life is stressful if you know I mess this up or whatever you know it's a little more stressful but it's kind of fun hmm. somebody forgot to turn the volume off on their phone yeah, it's fun to felt live as well. It's even better when you guys were all felting with me because then the challenge is off. But I couldn't tell you, <coughs> excuse me, I couldn't tell you what you needed to have because I hadn't opened the kit because I showed great self control. <laughs> um, 
Oh, Wendy went to bed at 4 a.m. So woke up late. Oh, wow. You're worse than me. I, I was late. I don't think I got to sleep till about three because I was reading on my phone. Um, <laughs> Rizani, uh oh, you're on to me. <laughs> Yeah, Paula, yeah, I'm a I'm a go to bed in the early mornings too. <laughs> Wendy, you were on the phone with your mum and, and I'm still here. Yes. Um yeah, this is it's coming together. Oh, you seem to have a baldy patch on your tummy. Um but yeah, he's coming together. What do we have left to do? Oh, um little little white dots on his wings is the final thing cool we're nearly there um yeah so little white dots down his wings so i'm just taking little pinches of the white and that unfortunately because this is so softly felted the little white dots are going into i'm having to be careful not to felt them so they disappear into the body um but yeah We'll do that. Felt away. Chat for a little bit, but we're nearly done. So, guys, yeah, <laughs> this has been fun. Um, I, I did not know what I was making before I started today, which is unusual. Um, I've never seen the instructions. I've never seen anyone make a kingfisher before. So, this has been fun. This is totally something, something different. Um, yeah cool and if anyone makes anything like this obviously i want to see it get get sharing please um but yeah i i think i think we all agree there's been some good tips um some different ways of doing stuff than i would have thought of which is exactly what i found with the fox as well so yeah and um, like i say not sponsored by the makers they they sent me this out but this is this is my genuine what i'm what I'm feeling. Um, obviously, any of these, any kit, I would totally advise it's better to sit and read through the instructions first before you make it. So, you know, so, so it's not like every stage is a bit of a surprise and he ends up a little bit big, big in the head. But yeah, um, okay, obviously, I'm not a beginner, but I'm a beginner to following tutorials. Um, and I think. If I can make, if I can follow along while talking to you guys and make something that looks about right, if you were a beginner and you made this, I think that you'd be pretty happy. I think the instructions are definitely, there is a photograph for every single stage of this. I think nothing has been left out. Um, I'm just, I'm not showing you the full thing, but you can see there's literally every single step of this is showing you exactly how to do it um so yeah i hope <laughs> I, I hope you all agree what you what you think oh i think that their instructions are really good so again yeah um this is the subscription box but they also have tutorials and kits um there's free tutorials um there is a link to their website <coughs> excuse me in the description um <laughs> Wendy, I had to take water pills so you know what I was doing. All right, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> uh, Wendy, really like him. I'm pretty sure an artist named Koshi Miner did one. Is that, oh, is that the YouTuber that's done a beautiful, it's like a kind of Mayan bird? Um, I think Wendy shared some of his, other Wendy shared some of his, um, his videos with me is awesome work um but but yes um this, uh, i've done okay in the time um oh rosani thank you you always gain inspiration from my felting the same methods can be applied on fantasy creatures absolutely um i, I think a lot of the things it's not even just felting is it you, okay the whole process of using the needle but the idea of the shapes and things i know a lot of a lot of the styles people use for felting came from polymer clay artists and you know just 
the putting the shapes together and everything can work for a whole range of things. Okay, it's annoying me how soft this is. I hate soft <laughs> needle felted things, but that's that's on me rushing ahead. That's that's not on the kit. Um, Patty, thank you so much. She's turning out cute. Those are amazing instructions. They really are. They have given me every stage of the process. They've they've not left me to guess with anything it's it's all been really clear but yeah I, I should have read ahead first if I did got the chance but you can see how the how to put the beak in so clever so simple um yeah all the shapes the wings awesome um Wendy good, right you've given it Kiyoshimino, right, I'm getting a pronunciation lesson, um, he's incredible, it's like he's supernatural or something, yeah, so that's the guy you shared with me, really awesome work, um, if someone wants to put up a link to his, his work anywhere, um, go ahead, um, everyone go and have a look at him, um, uh, Wendy, you took an online class with him, awesome, his stuff's so realistic, you love my videos too, ah, thank you, but yeah, I know, I know, I, I'm, I'm a crafter, I get by, I do not bad, but there are some people you're just like, that's made out of wool, <laughs> and uh, I don't try and beat them, we're, we're all different, we all have different levels, and yeah, there are some people that are just amazing, uh, yeah, Wendy, uh, taking taking Kiyoshi's class would have been amazing. I totally agree. Right, right. I'm going to stop just randomly stabbing because this is the point. I would just be making them firmer and making the head a bit smaller. But I'm not really making any difference to him. So... I will make another one and I'll blend the colours better um, as it tells you to do. I was just rushing through it. Um, so I will make another one, one of him. I've got the picture to make and I've got the daisies to make. I'm really looking forward to that. But I really liked, I really did enjoy making him. It was nice and simple to get the basic shapes super clear. And once you've got the basic shapes, you kind of can't go wrong. So yeah super happy with that um yeah wendy we all have different styles you are quite right as always yep yeah. uh right so guys i think i will be wrapping up if anyone has any any questions queries insults anything you want to throw <laughs> anything you want to throw at us in the last couple of minutes i will as always give you a couple of minutes for the lag to to catch up catch up if you've got anything you want to you want to add um but that's we'll, we'll start finishing up um, why am i holding it <laughs> but anyway i do like my little kingfisher um paula thank you so so much he is he is kind of cute <laughs> i do like the style I, I like the idea of doing birds with no legs because legs is the difficult thing i want to make a parrot now <laughs> um Uh, Wendy, wait, so it came with all of it? Yeah, oh, Wendy, I didn't, right. Right, you can watch the start of the video, but this this is the box that came, and I've got a felting pad, I've got six needles, I've got all the wool, um, and I've got instructions to make a picture, a kingfisher, and daisy flower brooches. I've got brooch backs, the eyes, um, some of the water-soluble paper to be able to trace the pictures everything literally the only thing i needed the only thing that you're going to need with this kit is a pen for drawing for the pictures a little bit of glue for the eyes and scissors that's the only thing you're going to need there so yeah the, it has enough to make three projects that's 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 pretty good um Uh, Wendy, it was great, and he felt like like me, <laughs> a pinch of this and a dab of that. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> cool. Evelyn, thank you very much. Patty, he needs a name. Okay, everyone, Kingfisher name. <laughs> uh, Wendy, thank you so much. Uh, George, you'll put the 
pic of the stone you are working on today and post to Pinterest today. Awesome. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see that. I love seeing everyone's work. So everyone totally, totally share. Um, you're most welcome, George. Uh, Wendy, that is so much. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty generous kit. I'm really happy with that. That's what I am thinking I might sign up to the subscription because I think for £17 a month, you get a bit of inspiration. That was my felting mojo was a bit short and that just gave me a bit of inspiration. I would never have felted a kingfisher. So that's cool. Uh, the speeding turtle, gorgeous, love him, looks great. Thank you. Um, Rosani, will you attach some attach him to something? Um, probably not. I'm big, I don't know, I think it's because I've made so many things in general. I have a few that I keep that are special. There's, there's a bookshelf over there that I'm randomly pointing at. I have a few that I keep, but most of my creations, like once I'm finished them I'm I'm done like I love it while I'm making it and then I'm like yep finished next uh, that sounds terrible but that's just how I am with these things uh Paula no thank you thank you guys for for hanging out um <laughs> Wendy George he's a king after all and needs a royal name George the Kingfisher okay well like Rex but that's a dog's name but that's 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 royal too but there's been a lot of king george's king henry <laughs> henry the kingfisher um oh wendy you're that way too <laughs> yeah <clears throat> george yes i'm on instagram it's ben mcfuzzy lugs on instagram i'm just slowly getting the hang of instagram so yeah if anyone leaves me messages or comments or anything on instagram i will notice eventually but I just constantly look at it and I'm like, oh, what does, what? Does? And I click on things and I can't find people have mentioned or commented. I'm rubbish. I have to work on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why George likes George <laughs> as a name. George or Henry the Kingfisher. Anyway, right, I, I have to go. <laughs> I've kept you guys all for so long and I totally appreciate. Thank you. Thank you all for hanging out, hanging out with me for this length of time. This has been awesome. This has been great fun. Um, okay, right. Okay. Uh, yeah, my Instagram name is. Uh, there we go. I can't do a link just now. Right. So yes, definitely. I'm going away. I need some tea. I'm starving. <laughs> Thank you all so much. I'll see you. Like I say, a couple of good videos eatsy tips videos and i will be doing some more needle felting videos once i've caught up on my orders but thank you all so much for hanging out you have an awesome day and yeah see you next time <laughs>